Anything. Oh, um, you know what? I don't think so. I, this might be a first. I'm very wow. excited. Yeah. So Not that I can remember. Have you, uh, have you followed racing at all? Or is it just part of the whole charity thing? You know what? I don't know too much about racing. I've been to one race in LA, and it was really exciting. Dirt was flying, and cars were going so fast. And I've, of course, seen it on TV, but I don't know much about it. So today might convert me into a big fan. First for everything. Talk to me about blessings in a backpack. Well, that's why we're here today. It's so amazing that, you know, we're getting to be involved with NASCAR and that they've been so generous with, um, you know, kind of being interested in blessings in a backpack. It's it's an amazing, amazing program, and it's worked in every single school that we've put it in. It helps so many people. It's it's amazing that people don't understand that 60% of American kids are going home on the weekends and not eating, and being and 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 then expected to show up at school on Monday mornings, not fed, hungry, trying to learn. It's it's impossible. And this program, we're sending kids home with a backpack full of food on Friday, and they get to bring it home. Um, I mean, they bring it back to school Monday morning, and the same thing happens throughout the school year. So we've gone to a lot of the schools, we have about a hundred across America. We go visit, see the kids, see how the program is working, and it's really incredible. You know, the teachers get, we get to hear stories that the teachers tell us of attendance rate just through the roof. You know, every kid is in their, in their seat Monday morning and Fridays because they know they're bringing that backpack home. Um, and, and kids need food. This is, this is a huge problem. We need, we need people to get involved in their own communities, you know. You're so involved with so many different charities. Is this something when you were a little kid, just like, or where did this all start? You know, growing up, my mom really got us involved. You know, we, I grew up in Texas, so before Los Angeles, before wanting to act, we would always adopt families for Christmas and, you know, bring our toys to their house. And my mom would throw dinner parties and instead of people bringing food or gifts, have them bring formula and diapers. And so, you know, we'd go with her to drop them off or hang out and play with these kids while my mom you know, help work at a women's shelter. We would, we've been doing it since we were little, and so it's just something that's kind of been ingrained in me and my sister. And it's important. It's important to know what's going on and feel grateful for what you have and, and give back when you can. I really appreciate you doing what you do. You know what? I feel lucky to, to get to do this. You know, I have amazing experiences, and getting to meet these kids, these are our future. We need to help them. Let's uh, we'll quickly touch on uh, fashion, music, movies. Uh, Fun stuff. the fashion. You got DKNY line I do. It's DKNY jeans, and the line's called Femme. It was amazing. I mean, I'm a shopaholic. I love shopping. You know, I love clothes and fashion. Sitting there with an amazing design team, getting to draw clothes that I want to wear and then have them produced was pretty amazing. Um, they hit stores fall, so September, October, they'll be available, and I did a fall collection and a holiday. Um, talk to me about uh, the TV, you've got a TV development in your own place, is there a change you can see back on TV in a sitcom or something? Um, it is, it's a development deal with NBC, and I'm kind of, you know, I'm sitting with writers and hearing pitches and throwing around ideas with NBC. I do want to get back on TV, but I'm not sure what I want to do yet. So I'm just waiting it out. You know, hopefully it'll be a great show that's on for four years. So I want to make sure it's something that I, you know, a part that I love to play um, and that people will enjoy watching it. It's something that TV needs. But it takes time. Talking about music, you've had such a great run at music. Uh, how important is music to you? Oh, my gosh. I don't think I even know how to put it into words. I listen to so much music throughout the day. It's like it feeds your emotion. You, you're in a certain mood. You put on a certain band or a certain song, and, and, and I, I, don't, I wouldn't be able to live without music. It's also important, music programs in schools. It's so important for kids. You know, it's so, so creative, and um, I don't know. I get in a mood and I put something on and I feel better, you know, or um, I love listening to new artists and hearing their lyrics and it's such a, such a creative process and 
it helps so many people. You know, we all get to relate through music, I think. What about for you going in and recording? I mean, what's your plan as far as recording? And I know mean, you've got a lot of things going on right now overseas yeah. and other places. You know what? I'm not in a rush to get back into the studio. Um, I love music, but I have so much, so many other things going on that I don't want to do it until it feels right. You know, I get in a mood where I, you know, have an idea for a song and I'll write ideas down or say it into a little voice recorder. So I have the ideas, and I think I'll get the itch again soon. But um, I'm not making a record right now.